I think we've realized how good of friends we have, what a great community we have, and to not take that for granted also. So the last three months uh, from March until now are really hard, with especially with three small kids who are used to going to do fun things at COSI and the conservatory. So staying at home was pretty difficult. My husband and I were both working full time from home. Um, so that made it hard with two little kids to watch them without any childcare. Quite a revolution with just the pandemic with everyone staying at home and then also now with the Black Lives Matter and the rallies, I hope that there comes a lot of positive change. We love the Parker Roses, so we will definitely be back. It's beautiful. You got the roses, the kids like to climb the steps, it's quiet, and there's a playground that's now that's open at the bottom, so it's a great place to come with the family. We don't have a whole lot to do this summer with the COVID, so uh, we try to take advantage of nature, and uh, the Park of Roses is something that is just something beautiful um, and a good chance for him to learn its colors. So we get around and look at the flowers and just enjoy nature for a little bit while the day is nice. How old are you? Say it to him. Say three. Life has been crazy for the past three months. Uh, I teach middle school. Um, I teach eighth grade social studies. So um, along with having classes online, um, just the current events of the world kind of have kind of rocked my world and the things that, you know, I can do and, and maybe can't do. Um, so just being vigilant and, and staying focused on, on the task at hand. I'm a violinist. Um, I was a gigging musician in the area. Um, I had prepared for moving back to California. Um, I just had to stop my profession for the last couple of months. We'll somehow make music again. I look forward to it. Because I'm moving back to California very soon, I wanted to see as much as I could of Columbus. So Whetstone Park has always been on my list. And I thought this week was a perfect week. Kind of smell the roses, they were in bloom perfect day to go see them. Um, I just kind of want to get those memories in before I leave. I work in the food industry and my wife Kelly stays at home with the kids so ours didn't really change a whole lot. Not much. Grocery shopping is kind of weird. We live in a really small town there's not even a stoplight so <laughs> <laughs> it really didn't change much at all. Nothing really changed. Not really. We came here because my uncle actually told us, he lives in Columbus, and he said to come here. It was really neat. Yeah, and we just, we love roses and flowers, and he's really getting into liking flowers, and so that must be a fun little park to go to. It's beautiful and amazing. I wasn't expecting this many roses, and it's really, really gorgeous. It's in full bloom. It, it's awesome. just having lunch at our office down the street and just decided to come for a walk the yeah. park of roses yeah after lunch and it's really pretty out today the past three months has been quieter I live near a larger shopping center and kind of near the highway and sitting in my backyard it's been a lot quieter less traffic hearing more birds and I've been outside a lot more than I usually would be well there's been a lot of downtime the past three months so now that things are starting to open back up able to get out of the house and shake off my cabin fever. I've been very healthy and safe and my family's been really healthy and safe so I know there are other people who are having not that great of an experience with all this quarantine but for me it's not that bad. <laughs> well, needless to say, we wouldn't have been together. Yeah, we, have we haven't seen each other yeah. in about three months. So yeah. this was an opportunity for us to get together mm -hmm. after um, the pan, you know, or during still this was going on yeah. pandemic. Right. Yes, and definitely haven't been to places where we need to be inside. Mm -hmm. We prefer outside kinds of activities. Yet, I have a friend that's been sending pictures. She was here last week, and they were so pretty <laughs> that. Um, I checked with Cindy, who is my daughter, and we decided to come on up and enjoy them ourselves. Mm -hmm. Just beautiful here today, and there's a nice breeze, and the trees provide good shade, and people are walking, and mm -hmm. it's just a lovely place. Yeah. 
Come. Oh. <laughs> yes. And I'm going to post pictures on Facebook, of course. Uh -huh. The roses are still beautiful. Mm -hmm. So you've got time to come up and, and see them. And the yeah. herb garden was very nice. It was mm -hmm. nice to see some of those herbs that we hadn't heard of before. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yep. Yeah. And to see the little kids. They're yeah. so precious. <laughs> yep. It's always fun and to watch dogs. people. <laughs> Lots of fun here. Yeah. We've been home a lot more. Um, we're actually out of the house right now. Uh, my wife's a teacher and she's doing an online workshop right now. So we're out of the house. Everybody's been uh, quarantined and this is a great place to go to where we can social distance easily. It needs nap. We've been coming here since she was a baby um, and we make it a point to come here every year to see the roses. It's beautiful. Well, we didn't go out much at all. We quarantined for a while. I just started working with them, so we've been doing most things outside if we're going anywhere. We're pretty much staying outside. But this will keep us interested when we want to come and kind of when we're bored, we can just come here. <laughs> yep. It's my birthday. That's <laughs> why we're here. Because I turned 20, 81 today. 81st birthday. And yep. it's so beautiful. The roses smell so good. They have like every kind of rose here. My favorite has been of the Tahitian, Tahitian sun sunset. Yeah. Tahitian, Tahitian sunset. sunset. I really what? like the colors and yeah. how it smells. It looks like a sunset and then you can smell it from super far away. This I've been coming here for at least 40 years. I brought her when she was eight. Eight years old, yep. It feels like a little vacation right in Columbus yep. because you get all kinds of colors and smells. It's like, beautiful. It's almost like you're in Hawaii or Florida, just yep. all different colors, a big <laughs> burst of flowers. Yep. yep. This is a special place and I love the roses. work online with the students, which would have been these two guys, but they graduated, so. Uh, I, did, I have her brother, though. So, we miss being around the kids, and I've been babysitting these guys since my two daughters are uh, having to work at home and at their jobs, so. A lot changed in the last three months. People thinking about themselves a little bit more, and their families, and being safe. Uh, my mom told me about the Parker Roses earlier, because she's a gardener, and we decided to come look at it and see the roses and take pictures. And I'm just glad to be at Parker Roses today. It's a beautiful place to be. Beautiful sight. Just in the house and I'm just glad to be out here today. This is my first time coming um, to Parker Roses this year. But it looks very beautiful right now. I like all these beautiful roses. I like to look at them. They're beautiful to look at. And to get my jaw going. And it's a nice park. I love it. It's much harder to find spots to do things, but the Park of Roses being such kind of an open area where you can have enough room to keep a safe distance around people, it's a really nice spot to like get out and do something nice, yeah. but stay safe. Yeah. I mean, it was both of our senior years of mm -hmm. high school, so a lot of things for us got canceled, like our track season, mm -hmm. our prom, so we're doing our own little prom. Our graduation was yeah. very different. I mean, we're both going to college this year, so definitely yeah. trying new things and going to college will be fun. Mm -hmm. Hopefully not all online classes. So We came to the Park of Roses to uh, look for spots to take photos for prom and just as a nice picnic spot. Mm -hmm. It's really cool, kind of the variety of the garden because I hadn't been here before. I didn't know that the Park of Roses had the main rose garden, but also like the herb garden um, and the other kind of 
subsidiary other like spots off to the side, other gardens. It's really clearly labeled. I mean, there's maps where you can figure out where you are and where other things are, so it's really nice. Mm -hmm. We've lived here for years in Columbus, and I don't think I've ever seen it at its peak. It's easy to take for granted. This garden is beautiful, it's huge. I never realized how big it was. Our world became very small and yes. lots of family time. Huh? Mm -hmm. We think we've realized how good of friends we have, what a great community we have, and to not take that for granted also. You realize what you have when things get, when they aren't so easy and when they get taken away. So yeah. it's nice to be out again and see people. Great to have places like this in the community to be able to come and enjoy with family, with friends, um, and to build memories at places like this. We are people that like to be out and about. We like to um, be with our family as much as possible, but these past three months, we've um, pretty much been keeping to ourselves. We've been just um, at my house. We unfortunately, well, they haven't been able to go out, um, you know, just groceries and whatnot. Um, so for the kids to be out today, it's, it's nice. We saw that it was in full bloom and we were actually here a few weeks ago. This is our uh, favorite park as a family to come to. And the day is just beautiful. It's not too hot, it's not humid, it's good. It's a nice day today. It kind of put everything into perspective and made you realize like coming to the park and being in outdoor spaces is kind of a privilege. With the virus going on and everything, everybody was pretty locked down. So I think that's why so many people are here today and like just because it's <laughs> you haven't had it in a long time. Yeah, makes you appreciate it. Yeah. There's a lot of green spaces in Columbus, um, but this one I think has the most to offer because not only is it so large and really beautiful, um, but there's all the different activities. I like coming here because of the beauty and spending all time outside is um, rejuvenating for me personally.